In most cases, we can treat the symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome both acute for whatever the immediate needs are and also long-term prevention of, of chronic diseases. But I tell patients it's much like hypertension or elevated blood pressure. It's always going to be there because there's probably a genetic link that predisposes people to polycystic ovary syndrome and it's exacerbated or worsened by environmental factors, for example, like diet and nutrition. The way we treat polycystic ovary syndrome is dependent on what the complaints are. So some women uh, who are not trying to conceive might complain of abnormal hair growth in a male pattern distribution, which we refer to as hirsutism. Other people might have uh, hair loss or acne. And then a large group of these women are presenting for infertility services because they're not ovulating. The symptoms that people bring to the table untreated have remained the same. What's happened is all of these medical strategies for fertility, miscarriage, hirsutism, and whatever, whatever other long-term issues are included, including cardiovascular disease and stroke, those have all been optimized in the past uh, several years. And that's why, in my opinion, long-term management and even acute symptoms, going to a specialist is important because you can tailor make those strategies and then change them as the woman ages and her needs change. So she might at one point in time have menstrual problems but not seek infertility. Then she might enter a part of her life where she's trying to get pregnant and have her family. Then she might enter a part of her life where that's, that's complete and she needs to concern herself with other metabolic aspects. And the physician can track and change the management plan to suit her lifestyle as she ages with her family.